iOS 26.1 is now out for everybody. And we're gonna talk about the 10, well really 11 new features that really matter in this build. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So first off, if you don't know where to go to actually get the update, you go into the settings app, go to general, and then go to software update. And it will pop up right here, just so you know where to find it. First thing that we're gonna talk about is in the music app. So if I just lower this right here, you see this little mini player is what they kind of refer to it as. You can just see right there in 26.1, we can now swipe to go to the next track or swipe back to go to the previous track. This wasn't possible before, but it is a nice little update to music. This wasn't available in the previous build. You would have to either tap right here to skip or go into the larger player to go back. So it's nice to see that we can now have this nice little animated back and forth between tracks. Along with that, the OS has definitely gotten a little snappier and smoother. As Steve Jobs would say, it's been scrolling like butter, but the control center just has a nicer animation that just kind of pops up. You can get through everything a lot easier. It's just, a lot more snappier than what it was before. Same thing with the app library. Before, sometimes it would be a little clunky to actually get in here, but it pops up right away. You can just kind of go back and forth through it. Really easy, really nice. It's been a lot better than what it has been in the past. That alone should make iOS 26.1 a must have, but that's not it. Let's talk about the options they gave us with Liquid Glass now. So if we go into the settings app, we gotta go back out to where we were before and we scroll down to display and brightness. And then in here, you'll see liquid glass. So right here, we have options now with liquid glass. Now, personally, I wish they would actually change this into a slider, but right now we just have the option to go clear or tinted. So if you look right here, this is the tinted view. This is the clear view. Not much. Like, like I said, that slider would be so much better. I would love to go back to the original iOS 26, the very first beta. That thing was crazy clear harder to read yes but some of those ui things looked amazing all at the same time so what does this really do so i'm gonna switch from dark mode to light mode just to give you a little bit more of a view on what's going on here so this is the clear this is the tinted so there's not much here but mainly notifications so if we go into our notifications you can see that looks completely different so if i go back into the setting, go to clear, come back to notifications, you can see how the difference is. There's a few other places that this is obviously gonna be different as well. So let's go into the TV apps, a good one to show off the navigation. So once that loads up, let's go into maybe home might be a little bit easier. So you can see that tinted has a darker tint to it. Whereas if I go back to clear and come in here, close that out. Now you can see, you can see through it just a little bit more. I mean, it's very minimal other than on the notifications, but it is there. So that's basically all it is. Like I said, I hope we eventually get something more there to actually have even bigger controls between the two. Another thing that we can change in the settings now has to do with the camera. So if I lock my screen right now and I tap on it to bring it back to life, and then I come in here, we can actually swipe to get to the camera. This has been a feature for quite a while now, but they added a new setting in the camera settings. You can go down all the way down, I believe, and there's lock screen swipe to open. So if I were to turn this off and I come back to my lock screen, now if I swipe, it's not going to the camera. I still have this button down here that I can control and open up the camera, but you can also customize that now. So this is another option to kind of secure your lock screen so that people can't get to your camera and take those selfies or whatever. Like I know my kids and stuff like that, they'll swipe over, take a weird selfie. That's why I share them. Anytime somebody does that to my phone, I like to just share it because it's like, hey, if you're going to show it to me, I might as well show it to the rest of the world as well. But along with that, FaceTime audio has actually gotten some 
improvements as well. Works a little bit better with low bandwidth conditions. So if you've ever been on a FaceTime audio call and the quality has not been that well or it's constantly dropping, that should improve in iOS 26.1. Speaking about calls, there is another setting that we have in here now. So if we go back to settings, we go to the phone. So I'm just gonna type it in, type in phone. We get in here, we scroll down to haptics. It's on by default. Play haptics when a call is connected or dropped. So this is really nice, you know, that way you kind of know more if you get a dropped call. So very nice to see this, but if you don't like it, you can turn it off. Now, while speaking of calls, if you wanna record your side of phone calls, you can actually do that by now going into general, scroll down to local capture, and now you have a save location. You can save it to downloads and you can record audio only. So it says add local capture to control center to record your own audio and video during a call to save and edit later. The photos app also got a little bit of an update. So if we go into photos and we find a video right here, the player right here has gotten some updates and you can kind of scroll through, you can see the time. It's just a much nicer interface than what it was previously. Along with that, now if we grab a photo and we just long press, they kind of rearrange this, deletes up at the top. It just makes it a little bit nicer to get rid of those when needed. Apple Intelligence has also gotten some updates. So if we go into that setting, they've added beta back to <laughs> the icon because obviously this is not done yet. And the talks about what's going on now, is all over the place. You know, obviously we should get something this spring, but now it looks like they might be relying heavily on Gemini to make stuff happen. I'm not sure what's going on. We're just gonna have to kind of wait and see what all happens there. I will say I'm kind of worried of what's going on. Apple really needs to get it together and get on this. But they did add eight new languages to this. So you can see the list right here of all the languages that are supported. The new ones are Danish and Dutch, Norwegian, if I can find that one in here. I know Portuguese was also new. The Portugal one was the new one, I believe. And then we have Swedish, Turkish, and Vietnamese. And I think we have a new Chinese traditional as well up in here. I'm not sure which one's considered the traditional one, but I believe that one was new as well. Along with that, while we're talking about languages, if we go into the Translate app, I believe we've gotten some new languages in here as well. So if we tap on here, you can see the list right here. Some of those same languages looks like they've been added to there as well, which is really nice. So this will also help when it comes to translating uh, text messages and stuff like that in the Messages app. So that's nice to see. And for all you parents out there, if we go into the Settings app, we go to Family, and we go into a child and we scroll down to screen time, I believe is where it lives. Communication safety is now on by default. I guess originally it wasn't, but the communication safety and also the content restrictions. So we also have all that in here. If you wanna see a video on this, let me know in the comments below, because I've been thinking about making a very detailed video on this and how to set that up for your children. But if you are on iOS 26, I highly recommend you get iOS 26.1 as quickly as possible, because it is a great update. If you missed my original iOS 26 video, you can click right here to watch it right now, or if you wanna see my watchOS 26 video, click right there. I hope you have a great, rest of your day. God bless.